Pollen grain formation, this video is a summary video to help you retrieve the information you've covered in class. It's for revision only. So how would I revise pollen grain formation? And remember that there is another more detailed video, so be sure to watch that. Where does pollen grain formation take place? It takes place in the anther of the stamen, specifically in the four chambers known as pollen sacs found within the anther. So pollen grains are going to form in the pollen sacs and it's the pollen grains that produce the male gametes, really important. So you always start with how the pollen grains are formed. So let's go back to the anther, specifically to those pollen sacs. So inside each of the pollen sacs are these microspore mother cells, these diploid cells, and these will undergo meiosis to produce four haploid cells. These are called microspores. So initially those four haploid microspores are connected together in a structure known as a tetrad, but eventually they break apart and each one can undergo mitosis to produce a pollen grain that has two haploid nuclei. One is called the tube nucleus and the other is called the generative nucleus. So eventually what will form is a mature pollen grain. It will have the two nuclei, those two haploid nuclei, and it will have an inner coating known as the intine and an outer coating known as the exine. It's the generative nucleus inside the pollen grain that will undergo mitosis eventually to form the male gametes. And that's really important. This can happen before pollination or after pollination. The key to good revision is regular recall. You have to keep going over material to ensure you remember it and it's embedded in your long term memory. So a good way to do that is to draw flow diagrams like this. So you could start off with those microspore mother cells that are diploid. Each one can undergo meiosis to produce a tetrad of four microspores, each of which are haploid. Eventually the tetrad breaks apart and each one of those microspores can undergo mitosis to form a pollen grain with two haploid nuclei, the tube nucleus and the generative nucleus. And it's that generative nucleus that will undergo mitosis eventually to form those male gametes.